Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the Accept Every Dupe Challenge, where we're up to 80 dupes. Uh, we're trying to get up to 100, uh, if the lag will allow it. Uh, last episode, we started to settle Snowy All here, the ice planet, and I did a little bit of stuff off camera. I built this little insulated box here, and my plan was to start making glass in here to generate both glass for solar panels up top here, and to generate some heat. But I only have like two dupes on this planet and not enough power to actually do glass in a me meaningful way. So what I'm going to do is actually build one of these um, targeting beacons since we have a little bit of metal. Probably up here, uh, maybe right here. And get some power up there. We do have a little bit of power to start off with. And that way we can ship glass Wolframite. Hmm. I guess that's all I have, <laughs> so we'll use that. Uh, that way we can ship some glass here, um, build some solar panels, because we def desperately need energy. How much light do we get here? Probably not a whole lot of light on this planet, but it could just be nighttime. We'll have to check in on that. The other thing we could do is ship in some petroleum and um, melt the, uh, all right, burn the petroleum. There are no bathrooms for them right now. Uh, we gotta build those, but building bathrooms without uh, water is kind of hard and everything is frozen. So I need to warm up an area in order to generate some water. And if I use insulated pipes, I might be able to get a kind of a toilet system going. Now this thing, the temporal tear opener, this is used for the end game, I think. I think we use this. There's a, I noticed there's um there's a nuclear port on it, radiation port, rad rad bolt port. Uh, so I think you fire red bolts into this thing, and I think it opens a temporal tear on the star map. Which we need to discover, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But we d definitely have some more um, discovery to do up there on the space map. See, we're getting circuit overloaded. That's probably on our main planet. Because, I, yeah, I haven't replaced all these... Uh, all these deals yet, so let's uh, deconstruct that. And I see I got a lot of <laughs> wire here still. Uh, the old type of wire. Let's get that. I'm pausing just to reduce the lag, but... Heavy conductive wire, we got lots of lead, so... Let's upgrade the last of these wires here. Get those done. Deconstruct that one. Well, I guess we have to upgrade... Oh, I upgraded most of this down here. We'll upgrade this here. Don't think that's being used. Upgrade this last little nodule there. And then, have you what? Joint plate will go... Should be able to go there. There we go. Iron, sure. Okay. Oh, and I need to replace this one here. Let's uh, pause again here and get this. Well, that's actually going nowhere, so <laughs> we'll just deconstruct that. Oh, there's another little bit of up here and here. Looks like I did part of it, but not all of it. Yeah, because our main backbone here is spiking over 20 kilowatts. We'll be able to go up to 50 kilowatts we get these all upgraded without any problems. So if we get any more circuit overload, we'll come back. But let's get back to uh, Snow Wheel. Okay, we're pro priority nine. I should probably bring this down a bit. And let's make sure they can get out. They can't. Okay, let's let's allow them to get out. Now, last episode we were running out of oxygen, but what I did was I grabbed some oxalate from the rocket. So we got 361 kilo kilograms here. I've overpressurized pretty much everything here, so we're, we're good for oxygen for a while. And once we get this thing in, we could actually ship in some uh, oxalate as well. Now the food, I'm just kind of making it as I need it. So right now we got 3,000 calories. We got so many sleep wheat grain and up here actually there's 144 on the ground i don't know how that happened considering there's 18 here not really sure about that 
Uh, but apparently this thing is dangerous when you fire it up, so we're not going to build our town close to it. But I am going to uncover it so we can see what it's like. And maybe I'll reconsider where I build my my little settlement. The other thing I want to do is open up these areas here. So that, uh, you know, the pressure can get relieved a little bit so that we can start getting these growing again because they're they don't have enough pressure right now and I want to mop up the any areas where there's too much co2 on top of these plants let's actually make a place for the co2 to fall down here like that start to smooth things out here as well make sure there's no plants under there yeah we're good okay We'll let them build this. Hopefully this can be seen. The rocket might be in the way. We might have to move it over to this side. In fact, I want to get over... We'll, ha we'll have to get over here anyway, so let's build a ladder. 36. Maybe straight across here. That. Now we are going to lose a little bit of oxygen when we go... when this door opens, but... Hopefully not too much. This might be a little bit too low. The rock exhaust might cause some issues there, so we'll bring this down a bit. Put it right here. And then we can shave off the top, maybe. And build solar panels along this level. How much light do we have here? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot from solar panels. Maybe we can ship in some petroleum. I do want to warm up this planet a little bit, but not too much. Down at the bottom here, I uncovered the iron volcano, which has gotten messed up again here. Have to dig that out. Probably do that for 89. What's happening is the polluted ice is melting, turning into polluted water. And then sand is getting formed. Fortunately, I think I'll uncover this one as well. I think we're pretty safe to uncover these because it's so darn cold here. So the iron's coming out at like 1600 degrees, but it's so cold here, it's minus 100, that uh, I think it'll be fine. In the short term it'll be fine, in the long term it uh, could be a disaster. <laughs> I think I can safely get in there. I should probably build a fire pole for them as well, but I'm going to ship in some other metals because right now I think all we have is wolframite. And it's kind of a waste to use wolframite on a fire pole. So let's get ready to ship something else in here. So back on our main planet. Let's go to the top here. And I've been shipping fertilizer to the other planet, but I think I'll use this one. We'll change it to go to... Uh, oh, got some lag when we save here. We'll change it to go to... If we can scroll the ice planet here and I think I'm gonna need another conveyor belt or we could send the same thing to both planets so I want to send what do we want to send first some glass maybe let's see here maybe maybe we can you know what we'll send it to both for now just to keep it simple and then instead of, uh, let's set up a container here full of glass. Is that going to be in reach? Yep. Change this over to manufactured glass. It's only going to do 200 kilograms at a time, so we're fine. And then after we send some glass and get some power up, I think we'll send some some gold amalgam maybe and maybe some refined metals let's build a few other containers here since we're here already and the rad bolts are on a timer at the moment so let's see next time they go on is right around here and that should fire some rad bolts up here fill these up we'll probably be sending some fertilizer to the ice planet here. Let's see. 
There it goes. Fire, fire, fire. And nothing went. Oh, it doesn't have enough stuff yet. That's fine. Once we fill it up completely. Uh, these should fire. They got lots of rad bolts, I think. Yep. But not enough material. So once we get this uh, filled with glass, we should be good. Manufactured glass priority nine. Now I don't want two thousand kilograms of it. Let's start out with something a little bit smaller, four thousand. And let's see how much glass we have total here. I got a lot of stuff on my list here. Let's... We only have 141 tons of granite here left. Hmm. How much glass do we have? We might have to make some more. We have none. <laughs> that's not... That's liquid. We have 10, 249 kilograms. Okay, we gotta make some more glass. That's not enough. Where did all my glass go? And how is this going to work? That should be fine. It'll drop it in here. Let's make a uh, 40 glass. Circuit overloaded. Oh uh, yeah, we got to fix this one out. We might have a bit of a leakage here when we do this, but... I don't think we can build over top, can we? That would be nice. If we could do heavy... Can we do that right over top? No. We have to deconstruct it first. Not a problem. that all fixed up and I think we got some wire to upgrade here so let's upgrade this oh luckily we got that piece of ice blocking blocking that let's get this in here priority nine iron and there's one little piece of wire there we got to upgrade and as we get more oh, circuit overloaded we'll just fix those up calories have been going down which is a good thing um, there's not much going on on Herbera here. Uh, we're just making food and dupes are just standing around. I guess I should probably get them to take some stuff. Got this super cold area over here. I guess we could shave this down. And probably start... Uh, I want to consolidate all the water here, so maybe we'll release some water here. And get this over this way. Shave this down. And this might break here. So we'll put a few tiles here. We're going to be jumping around a little bit from map to map here. That could break, so let's make sure we fix that. I just want to keep them busy here on this planet. safely go in here as long as there's not space under there no we're good there I think they'll be safe up there that'll fall down that should be fine hopefully no one suffocates this crab might get mad at them eventually but that's okay let's take this out we're basically just strip mining this planet I had no real plans for it this. Okay, we'll come back to this planet later. We also have Grisado, which is where we were making resin by feeding this tree. And we do have some fried mushrooms here now, so we could feed the tree. I might actually bump this up a bit. I didn't have a cook for the longest time, so no mushrooms were actually getting made. Let's put 20 kilograms of mushrooms in there. And then we'll deconstruct this block and let it fall in here. Okay, let's feed that thing. Uh, let's remove fried mushrooms. Let's remove fried mushrooms. There we go. There we go. He's leaking. He's leaking. He's peeing resin. Quite a bit of it, actually. 
There he goes. He's he's munching away. I'm not sure exactly exactly when he uh, starts peeing out the resin, but let's mop that up. Eventually, we'll have to heat that up and do something with it. We can turn it into iso resin. I think. I forget what temperature. We gotta heat it up to a certain temperature. Maybe 125? Not quite sure. We gotta warm it up though. Uh, what should we be doing on this planet other than. Uh, let's mop this up. The slime lung should be slowly dying here. Oh, look, it's gone. Oh, wow. That's great. All I had to do is uh, kind of clean up this area. So we're we're off. We got pure oxygen and no more slime lung. That's a, that's a milestone. <clears throat> we got a lot of mushrooms growing down here, feeding the tree. That's pretty much what this planet's all about. But uh, let's go back to Snowy All, and we should oh, we need a package opener? Is that under rocketry or under? Uh, let's see here. Payload opener. Let's get that in here for now doesn't require power. Okay. And what are they doing here? They're almost out of food. Let's make some more frost buns. Let's make a bunch this time. We'll make ten. Now they still don't have a bathroom, <laughs> unfortunately. But the minute they pee, it turns, uh, it freezes solid. So that's kind of the advantage of everything being frozen. And I also want to build a printing pod here so we can get more dupes in. So let's build a mini pod, maybe right up here. You know what, I'm going to put the some glass making up there eventually, so let's put it down here. Well, I should probably figure out where I want to build my actual town. Or base. Uh, not too close to this though, maybe... Uh, maybe we'll make a floor under here. Yeah, I think we'll make a floor under here. I don't want to disrupt these plants too much, because it's free food. But this could be a good floor for uh, bathrooms or whatever. As long as we're not too close to this. I don't know what this, how big uh, the damage will be from this thing, if it does any damage. But we got the beacon on, and let's make sure we're shipping stuff. Go to the top. Uh, let's see here. Do we got any glass in here yet? We have glass. I don't think this is getting picked up. Glass. Should, should be grabbing. Oh, let's make sure the priorities are right. Oh yeah, that's the problem. So this needs to be priority eight. Keep making this mistake. Then it should grab it. Put it in here. There we go. And off it goes. That's pretty warm glass. 140 degrees. That's okay though. It's going to an ice planet. So that'll get shipped once it gets up here. Let's watch it. Let's watch it come in. And we've been wasting wasting rad bolts a little bit by uh, firing them up here, but that's okay. So here they come. Love the sound of this conveyor belt. So that should fill that up. And it's off. Beautiful. Back to uh, Snow Wheel. Oh, it, it'll take a while to get there. Let's check the star map. Speaking of the star map, we need to do another exploratory mission. We need to explore this region over here. Maybe I'll send the rocket over this way. Here come, here come, here comes the cargo. So let's get the rocket off. It's full of rad bolts at the moment. We'll change. We are changed to crew. Oh, wait a minute. Is oh no, Danny's been in here all this time with food poisoning. Hmm. How do they get food poisoning? Is the toilet working? Yeah. We got oxygen. We got oxalite. Probably don't need five thousand kilograms of it. But whatever. We'll let. We're we're good to take off here. I think we got enough food to uh should last 20 cycles maybe we want a little bit more berry sludge how much berry sludge do we have on the planet uh we have 
basically none. Uh, we could grab some stuffed berry as well, maybe. It is gonna rot, because we're not powering this fridge. But let's, uh... Put some stuffed berry in here. Stuffed berry... We can afford to, uh... Grab it, I think. Let's make sure we have stuff berry in accessible in the fridge. Wait, I forgot to hook these lights up. I removed all the heavy wire that was touching these lights. So let's fix this. Oh, and I didn't hook this up. Oops. Oh, we gotta change this out as well. Lots to do, lots to do. Oh wait, is this heavy water ready? Heavy what? Uh, conductive, oh it already is. We just need to upgrade the wire. Holy leg. Oh, I just deconstructed it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, too much leg. That's my excuse. Uh, iron, put that in. Upgrade that wire that's almost hidden there. And there we go. I should fix up our stuff. And we got this on a switch, that's still fine. Okay. Back to Snowy All. Need to dig this out. We're getting around 15 frames per second. Between 15 and 20. I do want to plug up this hole here. Let's uh, plug this up. That should be buildable through the corner. If not, we can uh, get this down. No power. Okay, let's get the wheel back to high priority. But we should have some glass pretty soon. And then we can get some free power. What party did I do all this? Nine. Let's make this like a four. This is when they just when they get around to it. Not a priority. In fact, let's just bring it back to here for now. Okay, I think they got some glass just now. I didn't see it land, but I think we got some cargo there. Let's see, glass, did it come in? Yeah, we got some glass, okay, perfect. We're gonna have some free power here. Where should we put it? Power, um, wait a minute, glass, oh, 370 grams? Not quite sure how that happened. I guess maybe it was mostly full, full of fertilizer? Not sure. What you doing down here, Dennis? <laughs> Unknown. Not sure. Definitely, we definitely need more power here. Okay, what do we get here? What's he about to unpack? Hopefully, some glass. I guess we can click on it and see. Yeah, there we go. We got enough glass for a solar panel. A single solitary, maybe two actually. What's going on here? Oh, they're putting... Where's the glass going? Is it going in the rocket? No, he's just using this bathroom. Let's make sure this is... Oh, I guess that's okay. He can use that bathroom. It's allowed. But where did the glass go? What's going on here? I'm pretty sure they just brought in a big chunk of glass. And then it disappeared. Oh, it made glass down here. That's how we got it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We melted some sand and iron. But what did they empty here? I could have sworn I saw glass come out of this thing. You guys saw it, right? 
Where'd it go? <laughs> what did they build? What did they build out of glass that I didn't see? I'm not sure. Well, we're sending more. We should be sending more. Let's see here. We got uh, glass. Where the heck did the glass go? <laughs> That's so bizarre. Where did it go? Um, hmm. They unpacked it and it should, it should be right here. Did I build anything else out of glass? I don't think so. Oh, we got water! Finally! Some ice is melting. This is good. And steam and everything, wow. It's gonna, it's gonna start to heat up in here. Which is what we want. We need a little bit of water. In fact, I should insulate right here. In order for this water to stick around. This is insulated already, so once we get a little bit of water here, <clears throat> we can uh, get some toilets going. It's extremely cold still, so it'll take a while. I could open up the third iron volcano at the top. Maybe I should? It's pretty close to the base though. You know what, let's go for it. Temperature is minus 43. We can always cap it if we uh, change our minds. I think I'll insulate. How much igneous rock do we have? Not a whole lot, but we have enough to build here, here, and we'll seal up this corner. Like that. And then we'll collect the water over on this side. And I guess technically we should start getting some rid of some of these weasel warts. This one's going to have to go because it's in the way. Kind of. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. We got a payload opener. It's got 689 kilograms of glass. Maybe this is a bug, where it's, if it's mixed... Oh, it's in the payload opener. No, it's... Yeah, it's in the payload opener. Okay. So it should be accessible. The glass should be accessible. It's not. Hmm. Let's deconstruct it. And uh, get this stuff out of here. Maybe we need a. Oh, we need a. We need a port to get it out. That's what's going on. Okay. Forgot. We needed. We need a conveyor belt to get the stuff out of there. Okay, this one might be a little bit trickier to remove. Actually, no, it should be fine. I can't click on this. Why not? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Game's been getting laggy and unresponsive. Okay, let's uh, fix that. Heavy. Let's build this out of steel. It could get hot in here. When oh, this one needs replacing, let's do that as well. Heavy watt conductive joint point. Oh, this one's fine already. Okay. And I'm basically making a vacuum here where I don't really need one, so let's, uh... It's actually bad that I'm creating a vacuum here. Let's turn this off. We should almost pump some air back in here, because right now we have no, no pressure. Which makes it a lot harder to cool stuff. We want a vacuum in just this little room, but nowhere else, so... I might have to build a pump and start filling this whole room with hydrogen or something. In fact, we do have hydrogen right here. 
So we could do something cheeky like this. And fill this room up with hydrogen. Should be good. Okay, let's go see if we got our glass out of that thing. Uh, now we have glass. Okay, that's the way to do it. If you don't have conveyors. Okay, let's do power. That's what we want. Solar panel. I think I'll go down one level here. Like that. Should be accessible, yep, that'll work. Yay, Jackson. I'm gonna put the printing pod in so we can get some more dupes. That's what we need. We need we need more dupes. Desperately. We need a bigger labor force here. Because stuff is taking too long to get done. There's no particular reason it needs to go down one more, and it'll just take them longer to dig it out. So you know what? Let's put this just here instead. And we should use heavy watt wire here, but temporarily, since we don't have huge power demand yet, we're just gonna use regular wire. Priority nine, yep. Okay, we got some more glass coming. We can probably turn off the glass now and send something else. Because these are 200 each, yeah. How much more do we have? Six. We don't have a lot of space here, so... And there's a couple hundred in here. Let's start sending something else. Oh, gotta keep an eye on these guys. Did I do this priority nine? Oops, let's make that six. Oh, and this thing's actually on and hot. It's on and it's hot. Okay. We'll do another one here. I want enough room for uh, a pump. Now some of this polluted ice will probably get in the way here. Let's build a container. Right here. And we'll make it sweep only and we'll get the polluted ice out of here. Because otherwise it's going to gum up the works. We're going to get sand and this thing's going to get covered. Okay, come on, power boys. Get that power going. How's our stress? Oh, stress is down. That's good. Uh, I saw circuit overload a second ago. And we got 28 idle dupes on the main planet. Maybe we can queue up some stuff for them to do here. We've almost dug everything out. I think it's safe to finally dig this out, even though it's a bit of free food. Let's do that. Granite, no, let's use igneous rock. Get this all done. Goodbye, free food. It's been nice knowing you. And we'll go... We'll go down that far to start. And then we'll dig under here. Hopefully they don't get stuck. We already have a lot of free food from the pips. So let's let them work on that. What priority did I do that? Five? Yeah, that's good. So our idle dupes went just down a lot there. This should uh, go very quickly. <laughs> There's so many dupes on this planet. Some of them are pretty slow moving because they're new dupes, like Otto here. And we gotta get this water pumped out of here. Let's do that. Uh, let's do pump. Actually, can we let it fall down somewhere and get pumped out? Uh, that's a long way to fall. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> let's just put a pump in. Pump that out. Gold amalgam. Oh, we got cobalt. Let's use cobalt. 
And we gotta send it somewhere. Um, into our main tank, preferably, which is all the way over here. We could join this line here. Yeah, let's do that. So we need an insulated pipe because it's pretty cold out here, I think. Let's touch our lake. Actually, it's not too bad. We can use regular pipe. That'll go this way, up here, over here, down here. And I think we'll just bridge in here. Like so. Input, output, that should work like that. And we need some power. Okay. That'll clear all that liquid out of there. Uh, we'll come back when they're done this little job. I did want to take a look at Calfolda here. Because we've got lots of gassy moos out here. Now they have nothing to eat. Uh, these guys like to eat this uh, gas grass. This guy's happy, unreachable, hungry. Eventually we'll have to colonize this planet. Uh, but we got Floody Ol first. Oh, that reminds me, never, we never launched the rocket. Jeez, I've got like scatterbrain here. Okay, uh, we were putting more food in the rocket. And none of it got delivered. Because, did I select it? Probably not. Berry sludge. Oh, berry sludge and... Stuffed berry, priority nine. Oh yeah, that's not available in the fridge. That was the issue. Okay, one thing at a time here. Uh, this fridge... Right here probably has none of the good stuff. Yep. Crystal berry. In this fridge, 25 kilograms, we'll put uh, stuffed berry. Where are you? Stuffed berry, there we go. Priority seven. That'll get it into this fridge so that the dupes can access it. Um, they should grab it. Oh, they just put it in that bridge. <laughs> That's okay. They'll, they'll eventually move it up into the rocket. Yeah, let's see. Up here... We should see a dupe coming here and deliver some food. Priority 9, yep. And then we can launch the rocket. We could probably launch already, but I just want to make sure there's lots of food in here. Dupes coming. Stuff berry. I see them running up upstairs. I think they're they're probably eating it actually. You know what? <laughs> they're probably eating it. Because it's the best food. Uh, are they gonna get any up in the fridge? Hmm. I think they're just gonna prefer to eat it. <laughs> They may never grab it. Stuffed berry. Stuffed berry. Hmm. Come on, dupes. You can do it. berry we have 800,000 calories of it okay should be fine let's make this 40 just in case and that way there should be ample stuffed berry for them to eat and deliver how many calories in 40 okay 200,000 calories that's a lot now we just need to wait for someone to deliver it and you know what? We can power this temporary fridge. We have no shortage of power. Come on, food delivery. Stuff very priority nine. Let's make it priority emergency. Let's see what happens. Let's see if let's see if someone finally delivers it.
Got damage overheated on something. Liquid pump. Uh, that was moving nuclear waste. Aluminum ore, let's place that. Why can't I click it? I'm clicking it, but the game is... I need to click something else, and then it's clickable. Some strange things are happening with the game now. I don't know what's going on. But we'll deconstruct that and replace it with some... Gold. Or steel. There are lots of little growing pains. But we'll get them. We'll, we'll whack-a-mole them. Okay, that's out of there. We have some gold here. We don't have any gold, but we got steel. Let's use some steel. That should fix that. And circuit overloaded. Where is that going to be? Oh, yes. It didn't do it all here. Okay, this is... Take this out. I can't click it, so we'll click another tile. Then we'll click it. So bizarre. So bizarre are the bugs in this game. And we'll replace it with this. Steel, uh... We need iron. This wire should be fixed. I noticed the wire doesn't overheat, but the uh, overload, but the the joint plates do. Which is very interesting. How are we doing here? Do we have any food in here yet? Nope. What the heck's going on here? What the heck's going on? We got a fridge. Priority seven. Stuff berry. They should be able to grab food from here, take it to the rocket. In fact, there's some sitting on the floor here that they could grab. It's possible I have this set to sweep only in the rocket. Nope. It's perfectly deliverable. Uh, set to crew. Maybe that's why. That's probably it. Um, that lets Danny get out of the rocket, finally. Uh, I guess she's free to go. <laughs> okay, that was probably the issue. Uh, we were sending glass off to the other one. Let's start sending something else, like... Um, what should we send? Steel, maybe? What do we need? We need regular metal. That steel's a little bit overkill. Maybe we'll send some aluminum. And we don't need this much. We'll bring this down to 2,000. Okay, then we'll start sending some... Oh, we need to make sure this is set to that as well. Aluminum. A little bit of micromanagement here on this stuff. Back to the main planet that we're concerned about. Okay, we got some power up. That's good. We'll continue on with this. And let's just... Well, we'll do one at a time here. I don't have to get too carried away. Suffocating. Oh, scalding. Uh-oh, Dennis. Too hot for you there. Okay, yeah, let's get you out of there. Get up here. Okay, so it is getting pretty hot, damn hot in here. You just drop that iron. Uh, we might have to cap this already. He's going back there, isn't he? Like a little... Oh, it's cooled down a bit. What is he grabbing? What do we got here? We got iron. Wolframite. Oh, he's probably grabbing the Wolframite. Uh, we don't want him to grab that, do we? Let's see what happens. Oh, he's getting the little bits of glass. Okay. Yeah, he just was unlucky <clears throat> there getting a... Uh... He, he got hit with a hot spot. Uh, let's go up here and see how this is doing. 
So we're gonna put polluted, liquefiable polluted water. Actually, we want brine ice, polluted ice. That should be good. And priority seven, sweep only. And then we'll sweep just this area here. Actually, there's some here too. It might melt. I kind of need to let all this stuff fall down here. I want to build here, so let's dig this out. This is going to fall. And we're going to need some medical beds. Because poor Dennis. Uh, let's make it a little bit easier for them to get over here as well. And let this CO2 fall down. Let's make this sweep party four. Don't care about it that much. Hypothermia. I guess they stood in a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of water. Oh, they're probably standing in the CO2, actually. Yeah, we want that CO2 to go fall down and eventually fall to the very bottom. Okay, but at least we got some power going. That's the important part. We'll get some more going here. That way they won't have to be running on the wheel so much. Oxygen is still pretty darn good. What do we got over here? Glass. Guess we'll get the unpacking thing going again. Payload opener. Stick that back here. Holy lag, Batman. There goes that sand. Okay, not a problem. So this is where we'll put a pump. Eventually we'll get some water here. Because this is kind of insulated. Pressure in here is really low. Let's uh, dig this out. And dig this out. Dig this out. We're just trying to open this up so that we got at least three tiles for the stuff to wiggle through here. Take this out. Make sure there's no food there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, the payload opener, I'm going to make that up. That's oh, five. Okay. We want this to be high priority. So let's make it so priority nine. And I guess we'll come back since they're working on this. Why do I have this set to, let's disable this water cooler. Poor Dennis. Uh, we need like a um, medical cot. Triage cot. Let him heal up. He'll heal up sleeping, but I'll just chuck that there for now. Okay, payload opener. We'll make priority one. Because uh, we want this done first. This should come over here first. Oh, no. Maybe we'll uh, disable it for now. We don't need that stuff just yet. Let's make sure I got my priorities on new dupes set properly. Uh, we want life support double yeah, toggling. Let's make very high for everyone. Tacking's fine, okay. There we go. Wire's getting built. Good, good, good. Slowly. Slowly get that done. Now we'll need some oxygen generation eventually here. Or we can just keep shipping in oxalate. How's this oxalate doing? We're down to 200 kilograms. We're slowly pressurizing the whole asteroid as you can see. Which is good because uh, it'll help some food grow here. 
It's too cold for the food to grow down here. It's minus 67. Wow. These can go as low as minus 55. Oh, this is pretty damn hot here. That's kind of a good thing. Should probably insulate the top as well. Like here. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, that should kind of collect all the heat in here. Oh, that's actually way too hot. <laughs> Uh, we need exosuits for these guys. Let's cancel that for now. It's too hot in there. Let's cancel all this stuff right now. This might be a bad idea. These things, this turns out a ton of heat. Eventually we'll, we'll put some steam turbines on this thing. Maybe we should cap it. I don't know. We don't need the iron, we just, we're just trying to get some heat out of this thing. Eventually it'll go dormant. Um, and it'll cool down. I guess we'll leave it for now. We've got lots of stuff delivered here. Aluminum. Probably don't need much more aluminum here, but... Let's see... How much do we have? Aluminium. We've got uh, zero because it's all in the containers right now. We're going to need some more batteries as well. And batteries will generate heat, so let's put some batteries here. Foods, okay. We'll make a few more frost buns here. And printer, let's let's uh, activate this thing so we get some more dupes here. I guess the next thing we could send is oxalate. Not sure how much aluminum we got. Probably actually not that much. So maybe we'll keep sending it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna activate this thing. He's slapping. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Who should we take here? We got a cook. Can't dig. Let's grab a cook. And Gossman, you can just be the dedicated chef on the planet. And Rowan can stop cooking. Actually, Rowan's not cooking. Dennis is cooking. But we gotta make sure Gossman can cook. Hitting the priorities menu is painful. Okay, Gossman. You will be doing cooking big time, and other dupes, let's make it impossible for them to cook. Actually, you know what, we'll just make it low priority. Just in case we ever need them to cook. Oh, and Gossman needs a bed. Hmm. Now we do have some food in here. I kind of don't want to destroy it. We could definitely move the bedroom. Did I do this four high yet? Okay, uh, let's get this out. Now, Gossman doesn't have any skills yet, so it should be fine. Because he won't stress out. Let's put some tiles here. And we'll think about putting an actual bedroom up here, maybe. Maybe. Maybe here. I don't know if this is going to be too close to this thing. Probably will be. But we'll just seal that in. And seal that in there, like that. Okay, things are slowly coming together. Having a third dupe's gonna help things. He's running on the wheel. I guess we're not getting much light out of these things.
the dim planet. But we can build more. As long as I don't get stuck in this hole. You know what? Let's just keep going across here. We'll get it all done. We'll make this a... Uh, seven. Taking them a while. We got 18 idle again. Maybe, uh, maybe we can head back to. Uh... Oh, I never launched the rocket. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably laughing big time. We never got the food in here. Come on. Priority 9 stuffed berry. Oh, we got some in here. Okay. Good. It just doesn't weigh very much. 124 grams. How many calories is this? 43,000. Okay, we can launch this thing now. Crew. Let's get this, let's get this party started. Fix that circuit in a second. Come on, Danny. It's time to work. Here you come. Let's make sure to get that suit off. Oh, it's still got lots of oxygen in it. And let's set a destination. This is what I wanted to do initially, but we're at the end of the episode already. Okay, we're going up, uh, we can go 10 tiles. Let's go right to the corner here. Maybe right here. And we'll get this thing launched. Bye, rocket. Nice. That's gonna take a very long time to get to the to get to where we're going. Let's see, 4.9 cycles. We're not gonna catch it in this episode, but at least we'll get this area scanned. Might have to do a few missions to get this whole corner done. But that's the goal, uh, is to finish all the scanning so we can see what we got out there. And then we can start doing some drilling maybe. Bring some artifacts home. We're looking for that temporal tear. Uh, this one I don't show, know if I showed you guys last time we got. Ice, blizzard ice, snow, kind of useless. I want to check, to check out this demolished rocket and get the artifact off that. There's Rockyol as well, Rockyol, which you haven't gone to yet. This will be if we ever run out of uh, sand or regolith. <laughs> God, it looks like we have a whole planet of it. Um, uh, breathability. Oh, it's because they were outside. That's fine. Let's queue up some more stuff here. For the 22 idle dupes to do. Uh, not sure what happened here, but let's get that mopped up. And how did this little dig down here go? Where was it? Uh, up here. Finish this off. And safely dig that. And shave this down. And it's pretty warm in here, and we got these growing in here, so I think what maybe we'll do here... If we're gonna come down here, one, two, three, four... We're gonna put a ladder here. We probably want to insulate... I'm gonna keep this area for a little while, maybe? Or should we just get rid of it? I think I'll just dig it out. We do have pinch pepper not growing elsewhere, so... In the other corner, up here... Whoa, that's like, let's pause so we can scroll. We got pinch pepper not growing here. Actually, there's not a whole lot of it here. I need to make a domesticated pinch of pepper nut farm. Or we could get some pips in here. And go to town on these guys. 
There's not much place for them to plant, though. <laughs> I saw a circuit overloaded there. What's left? Got this wire to fix. Oh, so the wire is overloaded. That's good to know. Should we use iron or let's use lead? This is going nowhere, so let's get... Oh, this is where I disconnected two separate circuits. That's fine. There's some warm in there. Holy crap, here comes the dupes. It's an army. So we're at the one hour mark here. I wanted to get a little bit more done with Snowy All, and I wanted to get the robots in Floody All. Floody All. Someone mentioned in a comment that there's some kind of special tile that's under mega pressure that's causing this weird tilt to the water. I don't know where the tile is though. Some magical high pressure tile somewhere. I had the robots dig all the way down, not quite to the bottom though, so we're gonna send another rocket here with more robots to finally dig to the bottom and see what we got. Now we could turn this planet into food or we could turn it into oxygen, or a bit of both. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I saw that Francis John turned his into bristleberry. <laughs> I think he turned it into like 30 million calories or something. I think I might use it for oxygen though. And then ship the oxygen to the planets where I need it. That's maybe what I'll do. Because we're pretty good on the food front. I don't like building like ridiculous amounts of food because it never gets eaten. I like to have enough, but not too much. And we've got 3.7 million here. So there's that. I do want to explore, before this series is done, I do want to get into this planet and see what we got. I, maybe we'll go into this one. Maybe. And then there's the... Uh, molten one which I might play with I probably not <laughs> the series is getting pretty long and I want to play some other games like um, Timberborn and there's a whole bunch of other games on my list that I want to play and this is just becoming like mega lag fest I will try to do some stuff off camera like uh, vacuum out areas and see if that helps looks like I need to replace this wire here too. Let's uh, do that with aluminum. We got 8,000 aluminum. Let's use lead. That done and this done and that might be it for this circuit. Yeah, I guess we can trim this. One thing I did in the past to reduce the lag was to go into debug mode and mop all the magma. And it really increased my frame rate by quite a lot. I don't know if it's still the case, but um, that's kind of cheating, obviously. Maybe we can somehow get the magma out of here and use it or destroy it. Or We're not really using the oil anymore either, which is kind of a bummer. I made all the plastic I'll ever need, I think. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. But we'll continue on here. Getting this planet set up. How hot is it here now? Pretty warm. What about in the bottom? Nice and cool. And this one, who knows when it'll go off. Oh yeah, I was going to send some metal to this planet. I'll send some regular metal to this planet so we can build a fire pole. That'll speed them up a little bit. But we're going to wrap it up here. Um, I will develop this little planet a little 
a bit off camera. Maybe we'll move the bedroom here. And if we can get some liquid water, we'll get some bathrooms going. And we gotta fix the air pressure in some areas here as well. Maybe expose a little bit more of the food and increase the pressure so we can get some free food. Just get a self-sustaining little colony going on here. If we can get water, we can start making oxygen here as well. But I think we're okay with oxalate. Actually, this oxalate is running out pretty fast. We can always ship more though. I guess I should turn this on. Enable that. But uh, we'll wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.